Guilfoyle, so good to see nice you. Matches matches your shirt. Cool, perfect. How are you? I'm fine. Well, congratulations on Spotlight. On you're already a winner coming in here with the Altman Award. Yeah, that's true. That's good to know in advance. How exciting is it for you after all you you're a veteran of everything in this business to be here celebrating independent film and a film like Spotlight? Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, it's exciting to be here uh, about the Independent Spirit Awards. I mean, because the spirit of this film does take a few chances, a few more risks. The story is about something that's kind of not necessarily something that would someone would easily want to go and view. So things are a little bit challenging in the movie, and uh, and I, I'm, I'm excited for that, that it's getting recognized because it tells the story authentically with a kind of a nice ease of truth. People wish that they weren't in situations they were in. People want to try to help people but don't have the resources to think, you know, this is what the, happens to the characters. So the movie moves along in a very linear, slow way and sort of comes the way water boils. It bring, comes up to steam and then boils. So I, I I love that that idea of telling. It doesn't have to tell everything all at once in manufactured scenes, you know. Uh, so, and this is all testament to Josh Singer's script and certainly to Tom McCarthy's direction. So, yeah. these guys were great. And Michael Biederman, the guy who produced it. I mean, a lot of people turned this down. A lot of people wanted it to be another kind of event, but they all wanted to make a movie of it, and that's getting harder and harder to do. And now, how exciting is it for you? Also, you've got Oscar recognition as well, and. Did you ever think that would happen with this film? You know, sometimes when you think that's going to be happening, I think you're in the wrong space. You know, usually my job, kind of like, like the way Adam Smith and the Wealth of Wealth of Nations, if I just do my part well and everybody else does their part well, then the whole nation will do well, meaning the whole movie will do well. So I think that's how, as you get older, you just really focus on what you can do. Now, has it helped you at all in making these cinematic decisions that CSI is now over and you can move on to these other ventures? As you know, I mean, movies that CSI was the only TV show I ever really did as a regular. It just seemed to go on for a very long time. <laughs> I, I don't blame it. I'm glad I, for that, that experience. It was really well, but I was always waiting for it to end, uh, even though it was a great experience. Uh, so I'm glad to get back to doing movies, which is what I really like, only because it gives us more time, me more time, to develop a character and find more characters that have more complexity, you know. Well, I can't wait to see what you do next, Paul. And I will see you in the winner's tent. Fantastic. Thanks, Thank Paul. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.